Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to System Crash. So it was a little bit of a tight spot in the last episode, guys, but we're able to get everyone out, and now it's time for the rendezvous with Turner, Jinx, and Hendrix at the backup hideout. So let's go ahead and uh, see what happens here. Maybe the Yakuza or someone else is going to jump up. Hours later, after making sure you'd lost any pursuit, you arrive at the rendezvous. The others have already arrived, and Selena Monroe is cuffed, blindfolded, and tied to a chair. Her indignant jerking makes it clear she's still furious. That was a narrow escape. We scanned Miss Monroe for electronics when we extracted her, but the tracking device was masked. The scans missed it. The oversight almost cost us our lives. I blame myself. Eh, it's done. We're alive. Don't beat yourself up. It's a mistake I won't make again, I assure you. Glad to hear it. What's our next move? I've contacted Talbot and made it clear that his little stunt has doubled the price, and that any further deviation from the plan will cost his daughter her life. He was clearly furious, but given the failure of his mercenaries, there was little he could do but acquiesce. I've given him until the morning to make the payment. I suggest we all sit tight here and wait this time. I feel like a sitting duck just sitting here, but alright. The night passes uneventfully. In the morning, Turner checks the anonymous Swiss account he has set up to receive the funds. The payment's been made. Ah, there we are. The credits have been transferred. Hendrix will see to it that Miss Monroe is deposited in a discreet location in the city, and I will let Talbot know where he can find her. Then I will notify our client that he can proceed on his side. But your part in this play is done. As always, you have proven yourself admirably capable, my friend. You have more than earned your share. I'm transferring your payment now. Pleasure doing business with you, Turner. The pleasure was mine. Be seeing you around, my friend. How much money? Up <laughs> 700. Wow. Don't spend it all in one place. Jinx? Oh, we get Jinx, though. That's nice. Ash Patriot 2. Armor 4. Life of 20. Ew. That is a nasty mech. And now a call from Rickson. Nice work, but we got a problem. Seems that hacker was no fool. The dirty hat on our corporate friend was backed up to multiple secure servers. Let me guess, you want me to go after those servers? Yeah, our boy's refusing to pay until the backups are wiped too. Think you can handle it? Yeah, I can handle it. There's one thing though, one of the backup servers? It's Yakuza. Don't know how our hacker got his files on a Yakuza server, but he did. Hmm. I like a challenge. Great. I'm transmitting the server locations. Good luck out there. The line disconnects. Okay, so wipe the backup of Rickson's client's data from the data vault. Zero out of three. Okay, there's one down here. 700... The hacker backed up his blackmail data to a secure data storage facility. Your corporate client insists that you get in and wipe those files too. Let's we'll see what we're dealing with here. Vault security system. That looks good. However, the vault security system plays first. Let's see what kind of deck we're playing against here. Oh, another hacker deck, eh? I'm surprisingly okay with that. Let's see how much of a hacker deck it is. Oh yeah, it's definitely a hacker deck. Hmm. Okay, how about... Yeah, let's just mirror, mirror the movements. It'll be interesting. Two and two. Return target agent to controller's hand. That was a waste. Wow. Okay. Well, we will go ahead and do that. And just to say we did. Goodbye, Richard. Boop. This is going to be a race for the finish line, I can tell. This actually might be a very, very similar deck to uh, what I already have. 
And since Nil has armor and whatnot, we are just going to spend our four credits and make him go away because we know for a fact what that can do. And we got two Richards here and a worm virus. Smoke screen. This seems frighteningly familiar. So Richard there. And our own worm virus. Actually, we probably should have played the Wendigo, but it's okay. Let's see how they react. Not sure what that is. Increases hacking effects and OP captured by allied agents by two. Now, that right there is something that I may want to buy for the deck. Because I just haven't really thought to do it. Get some more cards. Activate the Wendigo. Twenty-six to thirty-one, there's oh no. There's Nil again. Do 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 do. Unfortunately. About to knock them down to the quite frankly, nil. And unless they can win in one turn, that's that. Too late, guys. And done. So, we are fighting sister decks. Sentinel turret, overwatch. Oh, a call from Dr. Dr. Advilson. My friend, I am pleased to relay that, with Richard's help, I have traced the source of the security breach within my clinic. We have discovered the person who sold my secrets to the vile Neon Munger gang. One of your employees? Yes, a surgical assistant, one Mr. Williams. Truly disappointing, I had come to rely on the man. In fact, when I discovered that Williams suffered from a degenerative eye condition, I... Out of the goodness of my own heart, offered to fit him with the latest generation Mitsubai Cyber Eyes at a 30% discount, no less. And where is this Williams now? Unfortunately, Williams appears to have noticed our scrutiny. He has fled. The able Mr. Richard has learned that my former employee has hired mercenaries to guard his person, fearing retaliation, no doubt. Well, my friend, with your help, there shall be no escaping justice. Williams has cost me much, both financially and in mental distress. I think it only fair that he be made to pay me back. Those cyber eyes should cover it nicely. You want his... eyes. Remember the harm this man has caused. The senseless, violent death of my driver at the hands of the Neon Mongers. Do not worry, I will not task you with extracting them. I simply require that you deal with the mercenaries Mr. Williams has embedded himself with and prevent his escape. I shall join you when the shooting is over and handle the rest. Uh... The line disconnects. Ooh. <laughs> what fun. Well, that's the data wipe eye for an eye. Well, let's look at that. 700 with a gold. We'll deal with that one later. Let's go ahead and keep on dealing with... Uh, the Yakuza here. Felix Cybersecurity. Actually, first off, let's go to the black market and see if I can procure one of those cards. I need to see how much those cost. Hmm. Let's see here. Gotta find it. Where are you? There you are. You are a three? What do we have that's three? Wendigo, HE Grenade, Reroute, Silhouette. Hmm. I don't know. Wendigo's good. Deval? I don't want to remove any more agents, unfortunately. I could get rid of the HE grenade. I'll tell you what. Let's try to get rid of the grenade, and we will buy one of these for a cool 10,000. And put that in the deck. I really like that. Security turret 3. Deals 3 damage to a random allied agent each turn. Ugh. 
Okay. This better not be a combat-based one. I bet it is, though. Redraw. Come on, now. There we go. Oh, that is a lot of open fires and Richards. And why must the security system go first? Again. It's like flipping a coin in football. But at least it's to a random. At least it's not to everyone. If it was everyone, oh, that would suck. Defense? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, we can kill pretty much any agent they put on the board right now. Hello, ghost. I may have made a mistake. Actually, no, not so much. Oh, she can't be targeted by abilities. Curses. Now she's going to get buffed up with uh, arms. Turner, you traitor. We need something to throw in her way. And we'll go ahead and do that with Jinx. Now Turner's going to be doing some direct damage here. I don't think we've actually really played a uh, deck like this before. Interesting. Well, let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and we'll have... We'll put Jinx in the way. That gives us one to play around with. We'll get some extra OP. Very interesting. And treachery is going to work out to our advantage right here. Boop. And unfortunately, even with all of our open fires, we couldn't do anything to uh, mess up with Hendrix there. So let's go ahead and draw some more cards. And that should be good, despite the fact he's doing 11, which is unfortunate. Jinx against Jinx. Hello, Silhouette. Okay. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to... throw Nil over here. We're going to play two open fires. Oh, we can't target Silhouette. Crap. We could get rid of Jinx in a hurry. Um, we'll throw Jojo to absorb some fire, or at least one round of fire. And throw out Maddox. And you know what? Just one open fire on Jinx. We can make sure we kill her in the next round. That looks like a big mech. What does that mean? I've got a... Armor 1 on play stun all enemy agents. Ah. That's it. Oh, wow. Huh. That's very interesting. Now, we have our card here, by the way. Let's go ahead and rock that out. They're still stunned. Um, we've got two to play. And I think she's still stunned for one more turn. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and get just Jinx out of there. See, and they don't attack. That's strange. That's something new and exciting. I like it though, has potential. We've lost a lot of our guys though. Ah, we lost three of our guys. Perfect time for a smoke screen. Yoink. Like so. And a Wendigo. And just lower them down. I'm not 
that concerned about it with the smoke screen unless they play Artemis, which is a possibility. Yep, indeed. Now, this actually might come back to bite me. Yeah. 13, 7, that's 25. Yeah. 44. Well, this escalated quickly. There's 6. Now is a perfect time for a system crash. So that gives us 8 to play around with. Um, here's what we're going to do. Unless they have anyone with haste. I'm going to play the Wendigo. And that one. This is a calculated risk on my part. Unless they have something with haste. Because we should actually win this next turn. Potentially. Six. There we go. Oh no! Curses. I thought that I thought that was enough, but it's okay. We've got our software vulnerability. And we're gonna shoot Hendrix in the face. Just to add insult to injury. Alright. That was a close shave, but we pulled it off. 300 credits and another data jack. That system crash saved our butt. And now... Oh, this one doesn't have a special condition. I guess we did the hard one before this one. Let's keep her going. That's a good starting hand. And we get to play first. Imagine that. Now, what kind of deck are you? Maybe another hacker? Whenever they don't play anything on their first turn, I get a little bit nervous. I'm not going to lie. It's either they had bad cards or healing people up. Hmm. Especially when I'm able to get a really early lead. That concerns me. Because that probably means that all hell's about to break loose. Oh, it's the Yak here's the Yakuza server. Perfect time for smokescreen, though. I'm okay with that. Um, actually... We might as well use this... Oh, Richard's not gonna kill him. Oh, well. Such is life. I keep on forgetting about that, um, defense right when they get drawn. And the, the heal, too. Whoops. Goodbye, Richard. Good night, sweet prince. Jojo, we're gonna throw you into the line of fire. Which, quite frankly, has already happened, let's be fair. And no treachery will work, since they're nice and spread out. Let's see what happens here. They haven't... Oh, dear. By way. Or, by nil. Elite for an elite. Aw, my buddy. Now, I am curious. We can go ahead and kill Wei. Or Silhouette can do that damage. So let's have. Actually. Hmm. Wei wouldn't kill. We have a choice here. We can go ahead and have. We can kill Silhouette, or kill Wei, because Wei only does 4 damage. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and have... Get her out of the way. Haha, <laughs> pun. And... Let's go for Smokescreen. Here comes the Artemis. Mm-hmm. I think all the opposing cards have that. And they're about to gain 18. Ew. That's not nice.
Well, we know how to play that treachery card. And Maddox will take you out. That's kind of embarrassing. Um... Three... Now we can make you go away. Like so. And we'll play... We'll play the Wendigo. He's still going to be doing eight, but we should be running into our um, other cards here soon. And we're just forcing them to discard cards. To uh, We need to put some people out here, or we're going to lose really quick. That's not nice. 42. All we need to do, I believe... No, not with Jinx there. This actually, this game might depend on what our next card's gonna be. Assassination? Do do do. Oh, we won. Woo! I'm loving these close shaves. Another Richard Metrosec Captain. Excellent work. Our boy's satisfied. I've transferred your cut. Stellar. And we still have some time, so let's go ahead and try Eye for an Eye. Medical support heals two damage from the most damaged enemy agent each turn. So there's probably going to be a lot of combat-based guys here. Oh, there's Williams. I see. Do I get to go first? Yay! Two times they go first, two times I go first. That's fair. Now we'll see what we're playing against. t -Boz. I have a feeling we have seen this deck before. Goodbye, t -Boz. It's probably a straight out, maybe, Thug... Thug Merc deck. Well, there's the man himself. Search your deck for a deception card. We'll play Jojo right there, and that lets us play... Let's grab Nil. Now, he does 5 damage, which is pretty decent for... A... Oh, wait, he's a 2 card. Oh, dear. Hey, Nemo. I could have done without hearing from you. Um, We've got Treachery. We have 4 cards we can play. I'll tell you what, let's have... Richard's actually about to die. We're gonna have Nemo kill Williams. And what should we do here? Yeah, let's throw a body in the way. And an assassination card is just what I like. And Rutger's got some heavy hitters here. And Jessica. Interesting. I would really like some deception cards now because we could do a lot with them. Uh, let's throw Nil there. We don't have a smoke screen, unfortunately. Let's get our hacking boosted up. Now, Ritku's probably going to shoot Silhouette. Oh no, Silhouette can't be the target of abilities. So we lost two. That's alright, we have two more to plug in. So, let's go ahead and do that. We've got Richard there, Maddox there, because he can absorb a little bit more... more pain. And... we'll throw in a Worm. And get ourselves... Ooh, we have a... What to do here? Seven damage? I'm just gonna keep on using uh, Nemo to take out the rest of these guys. Boop! There goes Rutger. Return target agent. Oh, bye Maddox. Really? That's strange. Four, four, four. 
We'll throw Nil once again. I okay, I see why they did that now. And a Wendigo just to add insult to injury, maybe? Wait, who has a lot of damage here? I'm going to assassinate Rutger. And that should be game, because Jojo and Richard will do the five needed. Or the six, excuse me, seven. Holy crap. Bounty Hunter? <laughs> T-Boz. Excellent. And justice has been served to the treacherous Dr. William or Mr. Williams. Take these credits with my thanks. Here's Dr. Adelson, MD, MBBS, DGO, SFC, WTF. And an incoming call from Silhouette. The files you took from McNutley. I cracked the encryption. And? What did you find? I'm tying up suspense here, Silhouette. They're the Yakuza's real records. They go into detail on the problems McNutley were having with Metrosec. Metrosec were investigating McNutley's ties to the Yakuza, had been for months, but they made the problem go away by bribing a Metrosec detective. A member of the Special Investigations Unit, Detective John Declan. Declan? Yes. That bastard. He's playing me. Silhouette says nothing. Time to pay Detective John Declan a little visit. The line is silent for a moment, then Silhouette speaks. Her tone has an uncharacteristic hint of emotion. For what it's worth, good luck. She disconnects. Convince Declan to leave his apartment. You call Declan's calm line, silently rehearsing the lie you're about to tell. You need to find out how Declan is involved and what his next move is. He isn't likely to tell you simply because you ask nicely, though. So you've dug up Declan's apartment address. If there are any clues to be found, they'll be on his home console. You just need to make sure he doesn't return home inconveniently while you're snooping around. Well, look who it is. Didn't expect to hear from you so soon. Yeah, I work fast. That's good news. My boss, she's getting pressure from the city bigwigs to resolve this case. Turley was one of theirs, and his death makes them afraid and angry. They want to see Marty with a one-way ticket to Mars. I can't hold them off forever. Well, you won't need to. I found something. On a Yakuza database. Declan's tone changes subtly. You wouldn't have picked it up unless you were listening for it. A wariness. Yeah? What did you find? I have proof that Marty's innocent. That is good news. So send me what you found and we can get to freeing Marty. I can't. The Yakuza, they're looking for me. The net's tapped. Street's not safe. I need you to come I need you to come to me to pick it up. Declan frowns. Alright. If it's not safe, then I'll come to you. Give me an address. I'll transmit it now. Thanks, Declan. Yeah, no problem. Declan signs off. All right, guys. Well, our one of our legit, legitimate, quote unquote, allies is anything but, and I guess we are going to head to Declan's apartment at the beginning of the next episode. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. That'd be a big help, and we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.